Michelle Angel, quarterback. For Austin, they go out and they sign the most coveted quarterback, the top free agent, Michelle Angel. For the Austin Acoustic, that was their offseason story, the big signing of Michelle Angel. You could say it was a marriage made in football heaven with Mike Oliveira, arguably the best offensive mind in the LFL, and now he has a true franchise quarterback in Michelle Angel. Our own Heidi Goldsnick sat down with Michelle Angel and talked about her signing with Austin and what that's meant to her and this roster. Michelle, you've really come on in recent years. Some regarding you as the best quarterback in the LFL, but you've been a bit of a journey woman, starting with the Dallas Desire, then Seattle Mist, and now the Austin Acoustic. How has the environment and preparation been like here in Austin as opposed to other teams you've played for? Well, um, for starters, I think LA was left off that list, but I did play a couple seasons there. Um, but this really does feel like home for me. It actually reminds me of my Dallas season. Um, we had a very successful season here, and I think it was a mixture of key veteran players along with a couple of rookies sprinkled in. Um, we just had that nice level of experience to kind of bring a balance. Um, so it's, it's an intense locker room. Um, it's a locker room with a lot of potential, and everyone's just ready to get together and put it on the field. So what has the experience been like working with Coach Olvera? He seems to be so passionate about the game. This is, you can probably see it on my face. Um, this is the first time in a long time in this league, um, I think I've been in here six years now, that I have been truly inspired. Um, the first conversation that I had with him on the phone, probably lasted an hour and a half, was strictly about offense and what we could do. And it just opened up my mind um, and really got me so amped to play. Um, so he's just a great guy and a great football mind. And um, it's, it's been an awesome relationship working with him. I think we really feed off of each other and, and love what we each bring to the table. Um, he kind of gives me some room to, to do my own thing and then pulls me back in when it's a little too much. So it's a, it's a great working relationship and I'm just stoked to be able to have someone that could challenge me in this way. These two have clearly developed chemistry. Olvera feels that he has a quick quarterback that can win a championship here in Austin. Back to you guys. Thanks, Heidi. The Austin Acoustic fans are certainly thrilled about seeing Michelle Angel in the burnt orange. And our first look at Michelle Angel in the burnt orange. Michelle Angel, one of the elite quarterbacks in the LFL. She had a great season last year. 16 touchdown passes, only four interceptions. You're starting to see some of the weapons available to Mike Oliveira. That's a poor snap back to Angel. Angel has to eat it, and now Tory Giles talking to Angel a bit. After the sack, Giles smacked her on the back of the head. A cheap shot by Giles. That is a quarterback that plays like a middle linebacker. Watch the shot by Giles to the head of Michelle Angel. And Angel's not going to back down from anybody in this league. Not a smart move by Giles. You don't want to wake up the sleeping bear. Michelle Angel, one of the most competitive players in the league, started out. Meanwhile, we've got that flag on the field. No, it's not a first down. Yeah, it was right there. It was right there. They put spotters down there. That's the spot. It's going to be fourth down, or you can replay third down. Hey, you spotted it down there, That's right? That's referee. A questionable call on fourth and three. For what? Defensive. I, I'm not looking way down there. We'll talk, though. Hey, hey, I came after her because she done put my head in the ground after it. Okay. Angel is still upset by the hit by Tori Giles to the back of her head two plays ago. All at the Chicago 24. They fake the sweep now wide open. Looks like Michelle Angel has a little rhythm going right now. Like you said, great play. They fake the inside We've got another penalty. You whistled. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Michelle Angel endorsing the call. Guys, I'm with Austin quarterback Michelle Angel. Michelle, is this a tougher start than you expected for your debut? Well, on the plus side, it can't get any worse. 
Um, so, yeah, it's definitely difficult, but no excuses. This is on me. It's a team game, and our defense has kept us in this. But, um, you know, I, I need to, to get it together. So it's on me. Um, I just got to get rolling and, and get it started. Christelle's been carrying us. She's been doing a great job blocking up front. So, um, you know, just got to come out the second half and do what I'm supposed to do. Do my job. Not on the bed. Lay me on your sofa. Call before you come. I need to shave my choke chop. You do or you don't or you will or won't chop. Go downtown and eat it like a vulture. See my hips and my tips don't so chop. See my ass and my lips don't chop. Lost a few pounds in my whips for ya. This the kind of beat that go ba ta ta ba ta 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 ta. Sex me so good I say blah blah blah. Work it. I need a glass of water. Boy yo oh boy it's good to know ya. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. It's your primitive and wet yet. On a fourth and four, with less than 50 seconds remaining here in the third quarter, Angel in the shotgun, empty back set, popping back the pass, pressure off the edge, stepping up. Cure, get your hair bit. Boy, lift it up, let's make a toaster. Let's get drunk, this gon' bring us closer. Don't I look like a Holly Berry poster? See the Belvedere playing tricks on ya. Girlfriend wanna be like me, never. You won't find a bitch that's even better. I make you hot as Las Vegas weather. Listen up close while I take it backwards. Okay, I begins to tell it in me, which I want. I'm not a prostitute, but I can give you what you want. I love your brains and your mouth full of phones. Love the way my ass go, but won't. Boom, boom. Keep your eyes on my boom, 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 boom. You think you can handle this? Cause don't, cause don't, don't. Take my thumb off and my ass go boom. Cut the lights on so you see what I can do. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. It's your primitive, it's my yet. It's your primitive, it's my yet. If you got a big, let me search it. And overshooting her target. Does anyone want to protect me? Anyone? Michelle Angel asking if anybody wishes to protect her right now. That's Angel's ball right there. That was a corner blitz. She's supposed to read that. She doesn't have enough, enough people to protect her. You got to get rid of the football quick or audible eyes off. This Austin offense staying aggressive. Now a fourth and 16, the final play of the game. Obviously, they've got to go to the end zone here if they want to get more points. From the shotgun, looking to the right side, wide open. Now how hard I gotta work yet? It's your primitive plan yet? It's your primitive plan yet? Boys, boys, all type of boys. Black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese boys. Somebody else that hopes to be in Seattle is Michelle Angel. As I talked about, the free agent quarterback. Bit a bit of a journey woman. Started out with the Los Angeles Temptation. Apparently got into a skirmish in the locker room and then moved on to the Dallas Desire. That's really where she developed into the quarterback she is today. Then as most re as recently as last year, signing with the Seattle Mist. Enter the 2019 season. She is the starting quarterback for the Austin Acoustic, hoping that's her final destination, an opportunity to hoist that Legends Cup trophy. Well, let's call a spade a spade in Los Angeles. She did not like being the backup to Ashley Salerno, the starter for L.A., and they got in a fist fight in the locker room. Who would have called that? She is a competitor. That's how she plays football. That's why she is the finest quarterback right now in the LFL. She's got maturity now. She's great in the pocket, strong arm, a good leader. She has the potential to take this Austin team to win the Legends Cup this year. We sat down with Michelle Angel. KK Matheny and I have been compared a lot um, recently and in the past. I, I don't know if it's a accurate comparison, um, just because we're two completely different styles of play, two different um, physical statures in that aspect. I mean, she's done phenomenal things from being an undersized quarterback. Um, as far as where I would rate myself, um, I wouldn't be a competitor if I didn't think that I was better than another quarterback standing next to me. Um, so that's how I feel about that. But being said at the same time, um, I have been able to play behind some of the greats like KK, like Ashley, and I'd be lying if I didn't say that I, you know, deserve to sit behind them and, and learn things from them. So it's kind of a, a double-edged sword there, I guess. <laughs> Michelle Angel in the opener for Austin. Her numbers wouldn't, weren't good. In fact, she was the dark angel with three interceptions. 
but she is one of the elite quarterbacks and a competitor. You can see how she threw that dagger at KK Matheny. Girls, girls, get that cash. If it's not a five, we're shaking your ass. Ain't no shame, ladies, do your thing. Just make sure you are ahead of the game. Just cause I got a lot of fame, super. Prince couldn't get me, change my name, pop pop. I'm just curious, what was the penalty? They, they broke the uh, three yard belt. Okay. Can we also watch four in the box? Because we're not allowed to have four, we're not allowed to have four in the interior box. Who to can tell you slave no Picture black saying, oh yes, I'm Massa. Picture little Kim dating a pasta. Minute man, big ring can out last job. Who is the best? I don't have to ask ya. When I come out, you won't even matter. Why you act dumb like uh duh? Say you act dumb like uh duh. As the drummer boy go bra pa pum pum. Give you some 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 of this in a bun. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it in. So now Austin electing to go for a two-point conversion. Looked like the right side of that defense made she a jump. First. She jumped first. No, she came in first. She came in first. Oh, she came in first. I think they're going to call it delay of game, the not offside. The defense is allowed to jump into the neutral zone and get back. Prior to the snap, delay of game. I was just trying offense. to get a call. At the five-yard penalty, replay the try. I tell you what, Michelle Angel, if there's ever a D.C. team, we talked about in the pregame show, she's been to four, this is her fourth destination. She'd be a great lobbyist on Capitol Hill. Let me search it. To find out how hard I got to work, yeah. It's your permitted been waiting yet. It's your permitted been waiting yet. Come on. Michelle Angel never really rattled in the pocket. In fact, she's looking over at offensive coordinator and saying, settle down. Player in the sense that it's very flashy, but she gets it done on the field and has had a very impressive first down. Second and goal. This is Angel in the pocket, kind of flat-footed. Now wide open. Was that Tom Brady or Michelle Angel? Steps up in the pocket, looks one way, brings everybody over with her eyes, then comes back to a wide open receiver. Wow! You know, they talk about it even at the NFL level that a lot of quarterbacks never go through their progressions. Here in the LFL, you just saw a textbook example of how to keep your eyes down the field and continue to buy time in the pocket. What decision making? Quarterback play by Michelle H at the Austin 19. Interesting decision by Chris Michaels. Instead of going to fourth down, he actually gives Austin the play. Here's Angel looking into the flat caught. Well, gave Bills about a 15-yard cushion there. Respecting that speed of Bills carrying down that defense. She'll take runs of two, three, and four yards, then break off a 30-yard touchdown. This is Angel to the end zone! A jump ball caught by Williams. She simply won the football. Look, throw it up high. Winfrey will position herself, push off a little bit, and make a play. That's football. Here's the two-point right. attempt. The right! The right, I just said the right, it's red. I chipped the I chipped left. He told me you chipped away on the... I chipped away or he right, but I don't We left. can't run it. We can't run it. That's Michelle Angel getting into Rachel Washington, who apparently ran the wrong route. Nobody would have thought with eight minutes remaining, Austin would have this kind of a lead. So now a fourth and seven. Here comes that Seattle crowd once again. Angel, a soft snap back to her. Stepping up in the pocket, caught! 
Give credit to Dominique Malloy, an outstanding tackle to keep her from getting that first down. Now they're lined up in the victory formation. Angel will take a knee, and that in essence should do it. What a win for Michelle Angel to come back of to course. Seattle. What do y'all fucking mean? I love it. How does this feel, Michelle? How does this fucking feel? Beating the number one ranked team. The first thing you can kiss my ass. And that's Michelle Angel saying the number one seed could kiss my ass. But guess what? If Austin keeps this up, they may be the number one seed. But that right there might be on the bulletin board of the Seattle Miss that they meet up in the playoffs. You heard what she said about KK Matheny before the game, and now that, the number one seed can kiss my ass. Hey, when you win like this on the road as a heavy underdog, I think you get a little leniency, certainly with that adrenaline kicking at the end of the game. What a game for Michelle Angel. And as you said, nobody would be surprised if these two play again on this field on September 7th in Legends Cup 2019. We talked about number seven before the game. She is not scared of anybody in the LFL. She comes to play in a hostile environment, knocks off the number one Seattle hey, Miss. Great game. Hey, great, hey. great job tonight. Good job. Thank you. Way to play. Thanks a lot of fun. Good job. Good. Michelle Angel from obviously Austin. She has the early edge though. Preseason, she looked great. The last two years, in fact, she was the most prolific quarterback in the LFL, number one. But flipping back to the Austin acoustic, Michelle Angel, we've talked about her all season. The free agent quarterback signing has been a bit of a journey woman, playing for multiple teams. But the most noteworthy, perhaps, are the Los Angeles Temptation, the silver and black. That is where she got her start. In fact, our own Heidi Goldsnake sat down with the quarterback to talk about her time with the Los Angeles Temptation. Thanks, guys. Considered the face of the LFL, Michelle Angel is recognized by fans instantly and for the past two years has established herself as the premier quarterback in the league. However, it was not long ago, Angel was merely a safety for the Los Angeles Temptation. And if it weren't for an off-the-field incident, she may have never left her home of Los Angeles. I sat down with the all-fantasy quarterback to talk about her time in Los Angeles and the aftermath. Michelle, you're from Laguna Hills, California, just outside of Los Angeles. So LA is really home to you. What were the seasons like playing for the Los Angeles Temptation, being able to play in iconic stadiums like the Los Angeles Coliseum? It was a really good learning experience. Um, I didn't think that I was gonna play defense when I came into the LFL. Um, so it gave me an opportunity to see the other side of the ball um, and really learn um, a lot about the game and spacing and things like that. Uh, playing in the Coliseum was probably my favorite moment in the LFL just in general. So many great players have been in those locker rooms, stepped out on that field. Um, so altogether, it was just a really good learning experience and a lot of fun. We now know that you left the Los Angeles Temptation because of an off-the-field incident with current Temptation quarterback Ashley Salerno that actually landed you in the hospital. How tough was it to leave the team because of those circumstances? Um, me and Ashley had a, you know, an off-the-field situation, incident, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really ended up leaving for more of personal reasons, um, just in terms of, you know, the other side of my life, which is more of my career. Um, and I decided that Dallas would be a good place for me. Um, I, you know, since then, we've, we've gotten through or whatever it was that we were going through, um, and we're in good terms now. Now we're just ready to compete on the football field and leave it at that. How much harder do you compete now, lining up against the silver and black? They do a little bit, um, just because that's home for me. That's where I started my LFL career. Um, and, you know, a lot of me wanted to stay loyal to one team and carry out my whole LFL career there. Um, so it's kind of just a, a feeling of different emotions that go into it when I play them. Um, it's a lot of fun and they've always been a competitive team, top two, three, four team in the league. Um, so it, it definitely means a lot and I'm just ready to get out there and, and compete at, at as a quarterback, um, not a defensive player. While Angel on camera appears to hold no animosity towards the Los Angeles Temptation or Ashley Salerno, make no mistake about it, Angel has a competitive fire. She wants to beat the Silver and Black every time she faces them, and perhaps even more so, wants to prove once and for all that she's truly the better quarterback over Ashley Salerno. Tonight will be an opportunity for her to send that message. Back to you guys. One of the best competitors ever in the LFL. There is no love loss between Michelle Angel and Ashley Salerno. 
Yeah, we talked about it in the pregame show. They had an off-the-field incident that sent Michelle Angel to the hospital. Angel in this offense will get us underway. A quick screen. That's out to Mandy Pena. A bit of a homecoming for the Lopez sisters. Dallas natives, a lot of family made the trip down from Dallas here to Austin. And early dividends for Marissa Lopez. This a fourth and six. Great read by Michelle Angel. One on one, you got the number one receiver, Bills, against Lindsey Cash coming across the field. Smash in favor of Austin, obviously. Now a first and ten play back to the flat caught. Quarterback Michelle Angel is the key for Austin tonight. She cannot afford to have any turnover. Watch the way Bills gets her body between herself and the defender. And Michelle Angel puts the ball outside. The only person to catch that catch it is Bills. What a play. Accuracy, trajectory, and poise in the pocket. Great throw by Angel. Sniffed it Come out and nailed her. Come here. Why are you fucking beating? Listen to me carefully, okay? 7-0. Listen to me carefully. Listen. She just made one outstanding block to pop the other one open. I trust his personnel decision. That wasn't what happened. Where's the ball? Hey, that's not what happened. You missed a crap. When we run crack, you gotta bang the defensive end. You question the start lineup, they need to win this football game. Third and 14, stepping up in the pocket, wide open and caught. Already trailing this seven to nothing. Dropping back to pass again, wide open by that secondary for Los Angeles. I love the design of this play. They bring Bills in motion. It's woman to woman coverage. And there goes the cornerback. Free and Michelle Angel. Hey, Ray! Can you watch her holding out there five yards? She's holding her like six yards down. She was going like that. You just saw it. Wow, man. Offense! Offense on me right now. Offense on me. We got 45 seconds. We practiced this before. If you catch the ball on the outside, you hit the wall. You get as much yards as you can, and then you hit the wall. You get up as quick as you can, because we still might have to kill, OK? Michelle Angel, that's what quarterbacks do. They tell the rest of the team, remind them. They probably already know that, but you always remind them, here's what we're going to do. Inside handoff, interesting call by go, Austin. Go, go. Kind of a give up play. That was a four yard go, go, carry go, go. by Harris, but a lot go, go. of time coming off the clock. Even though it's a Ferrari go, 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 Harris, go. you're right. Look at all the go. time that came off the clock. They need to get go. a playoff. We'll see if they try to kill it here. That's what they're going to do with Angel. Michelle Angel telling Christel Harris that you got to get up in that scenario. So that did stop the clock. 19.1 seconds remain. Michelle Angel certainly has the arm to get it into the end zone from here. Outside of the first half, Bills has not got a lot of targets in this game. We saw the fist match on the outside against Lindsey Kemp. Surprised they're not looking for that more often. Angel and Michael Oliveira said they were going to go deep. They haven't yet. But now a third and eight, a possible pass play from the pocket, just trying to get rid of it. Angel takes a hit, and now she's slow to get out. Holding her head, that is not something you want to see if you're an Austin fan. And here comes the medical staff. They'll evaluate Angel. That could be another concussion protocol. Ow, watch her head hit the turf. Wow, hard hit from T.J. Anderson. I don't know who was having a better game, T.J. Anderson. You've got to go back to power and run all the stuff that we were running before you went out, okay? And that's Michelle Angel. That's a good sight. She's at least on the sideline. We'll see if she's cleared. Third and two ball in the Austin 23. Here comes that LA blitz. Picked up nicely by Austin. And that's complete. So a third and seven. LA seems to be bringing three. They do. That's Tony Gassiola. Five. The double team. Make the show. He's going to throw somebody else. We've got a temporary stoppage of play on a first and goal. From the shotgun, dropping back. Here comes the rush. And they get to her.
got a double team or something. Oh my long people watch. This Austin team is completely different with Michelle Angel at quarterback. She came off the injury, the concussion, she went through protocol, and she's leading this team to victory right now. 36, interesting call. You give it the floor and you're throwing. They're throwing it. Take it to the floor. Football better than this. Back shoulder, outside, perfectly timed. It's a receiver that has some nerves. She pulls it in. Jessica Green to get invited to the cookout. What a play by Austin. What a throw by Angel. So Austin will take over on down and set up in the victory formation and stamp their ticket to the LFL playoffs on August 24th in Ontario, California. But they got it done. They won the football game. Michelle Angel coming over in free agency with Christelle Harris. And now the only undefeated team in all of the LFL sitting at the number one seed. And here's a look at what's on the line tonight, the playoff picture. It's simple, folks. The Nashville Knights, with the win, advance to the playoffs. With a loss, they are eliminated. And for the Austin Acoustic, with a win, they go in as the number one seed. And this will be our first look at Michelle Angel. Impressive numbers, 12 touchdowns against only three interceptions. That slates her in as the third quarterback in the LFL this season. A first and 10 from the Austin Four. A quick screen to Bills. I'm really curious. He's got a wide receiver. to get off her running back.
right through her. Yeah, I'm fucking fine. Tell him to call something. Angel upset with the referees, taking a cheap shot at the end of that throw. <laughs> Connect. I like the call. The cornerback just made the right read and bailed out. If she would have sucked up on the five-yard pass, that would have been a touchdown for Nashville. Austin will not have to take another snap. With less than 35 seconds remaining, Michelle Angel in this Austin acoustic team will finish the regular season at a remarkable 4-0 going into the playoffs as the number one seed. Guys, I'm here with Austin Acoustic quarterback Michelle Angel. Michelle, a little scare on the road here in Nashville. How are you feeling? Um, I feel pretty good. You know, the big key is that we fought through adversity. Um, you can't blame anything on, you know, bad calls. You know, at the end of the day, we didn't execute as well as we should have. Um, but, you know, we were able to come together and still come away with the win. So proud of this team and, you know, just stoked that we were able to make history with this 4-0 uh, Austin Acoustic regular season run. All right, congratulations, Michelle. Guys, we're going to see Austin in Ontario, California for the playoffs.